Yahudith, Judith, 5. Then was it declared to Holofernes, the chief captain of the army of Ashur, that the children of Yashadael had prepared for war and had shut up the passages of the hill country and had fortified all the tops of the high hills and had laid impediments in the Champagne countries, wherewith he was very angry and called all the princes of Moab and the captains of Amon and all the governors of the sea coasts. And he said unto them, Tell me now, ye sons of Canaan, who this people is that dwells in the hill country, and what are the cities that they inhabit, and what is the multitude of their army, and wherein is their power and, and strength, and what king is set over them, or captain of their army? And why have they determined not to come and meet me more than all the inhabitants of the west? Then said Achior, captain of all the sons of Amon, Let my lord now hear a word from the mouth of your servant, and I will declare unto you the truth concerning this people, which dwells near you, and inhabits the hill countries, and there shall no lie come out of the mouth of your servant, this people are descended of the Kazdim, and they sojourned heretofore in Aram Naharaim, because they would not follow the Elohim of their fathers, which were in the land of Kazdi. For they left the way of their ancestors, and worshipped the Elohim of heaven, the Elohim whom they knew. So they cast them out from the face of their Elohim, and they fled into Aram, Naharaim, and sojourned there many days. Then their Elohim commanded them to depart from the place where they sojourned, and to go into the land of Canaan, where they dwelt, and were increased with gold and silver, and with very much cattle. But when a famine covered all the land of Canaan, they went down into Mitzrayim, and sojourned there, while they were nourished, and became there a great multitude, so that one could not number their nation. Therefore the king of Mitzrayim rose up against them, and dealt subtly with them, and brought them low with laboring and brick, and made them slaves. Then they cried unto their Elohim, and he smote all the land of Mitzrayim with incurable plagues, so the Mitzrim cast them out of their sight, and Elohim dried the Red Sea before them, and brought them to Mount Sinai, and Kadesh Barnea, and cast forth all that dwelt in the wilderness. So they dwelt in the land of the Emorim, and they destroyed by their strength all the Chesban, passing over the Ardan, they possessed all the hill country. And they cast forth before them the Canaim, rather Canaanim, the Parazi, the Yavisi, and the Shikmi, and all the Gugashim. And they dwelt in that country many days. And while they sinned not before their Elohim, they prospered, because the Elohim that hates iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their Elohim was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemies. But now are they returned to their Elohim, and are come up from the places where they were scattered, and have possessed Yerushalayim, where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Now therefore, my lord and governor, if there be any error against this people, and they sin against their Elohim, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But 
if there be no iniquity in their nation. Let my Lord now pass by, lest their Yahuwah defend them and their Elohim be for them, and we become a reproach before all the world. And when Achior had finished these sayings, all the people standing round about the tent murmured, and the chief men of Holofanes, and all that dwelt by the seaside, and in Moab spoke that he should kill him. For, the, for, say they, we will not be afraid of the face of the children of Yashadael. For lo, it is a people that have no strength, nor power strong for battle, rather nor power for a strong battle. Now therefore, Lord Holofernes, we will go up, and they shall be a prey to be devoured of all your army.